review of a new product that has either already hit the shelves at Sephora or is about to. Um, Kaplan MD is the brand name and they contacted me and sent this to me to review and I was just so intrigued. So um, we're going to try this out and see what it's all about. It says that it's the perfect pout lip mask and lip balm duo to hydrate, plump, and protect. And it says it's gluten, sulfate, paraben, and petroleum free. So that is good. On the back, it says exclusive anti-aging lip treatment duo that naturally redefines the lip contour hmm. while reducing fine lines, infusing hydration, and protecting with SPF in just two simple steps. So we're going to follow step one and step two. We're going to see what happens. I'm about to zoom you into my lips so we can get a real feel for this. So I am so intrigued. I can't even wait to see what this thing does, if it even works. So I'm opening the box up and there's like a packet of instructions for the perfect pout. And so the first thing I'm seeing, it's a little like, <laughs> it's a little spatula. I can't wait. This seems so weird and gimmicky. I don't know that it's, I mean, it just seems like really, do you really think it works? But maybe it will, maybe I'll be surprised. Um, okay, so I need the instructions for real because Here's what I'm seeing. There's like a little jar and a little um, thing. So this is the Lip 20 mask that they speak of, and this is the Lip 20 balm that they're speaking of. So let's see if these things work. Um, so the directions. Spread a generous amount directly to clean lips. So my lips are clean enough. No, they're clean. <laughs> and one half inch beyond the lip line. I can't wait. So I'm going to be applying it to my lips, which are, I mean, pretty big. I mean, you know, they're not huge, but they're... Not small, um, but I'm gonna go, it says a half an inch around, so this is gonna be hilarious to watch. It says, expect a mild tingling effect. This is caused by the papaya enzymes. After three to five minutes, remove any excess product. So three to five minutes, I better like get a timer going. Um, remove any excess product with a soft, damp cloth. Immediately follow with the Lip 20 Balm, which nourishes the skin, seals and hydration, protects with SPF 20 sunburn burn protection. So. Sounds like, I, I'm assuming this spatula is for this, so I'm just going to apply it, time it for three minutes, come back, wipe it off, and immediately put on the balm, and we're going to see what happens. So they said this is going to tingle. So, it's sealed, which is a good thing. <laughs> okay. It smells like mint, and it's a, you know, you can see it's certainly a creamy product, so I'm just, I'm so, I feel like I'm like baking. Okay. Alright, here we go. I think I got too much. <laughs> I think I got it in my mouth. Uh oh. Guys, the spatula. Alright, I'm gonna go beyond my lip contour. It, I don't feel anything. I mean, it feels cool, like Blistect. Uh oh. Guys, I can't do this. I'm not very good at it. It looks like Elmer. Ooh. Uh, uh oh. Guys, I'm really struggling. <laughs> I hope you are cracking up because I can't laugh enough, so laugh for me. This is ridiculous. I can't believe I'm doing this on camera. Okay, it's supposed to go a lot farther than the lip contour, all right? Half an inch. It's a lot. Okay, so three minutes. Somebody time me. I'm just kidding. I'll fast forward through this. I applied more. <laughs> Somebody take a screenshot of this and tweet it or Instagram it at me because this is the funniest thing ever I've ever done. I'm like tearing up. I just want to laugh. Okay. <laughs> so I got to take, I have about one more minute and I've got to take a selfie of this for Tyler and send it to him because he's going to lose his mind. He's, he's going to die. <laughs> I can't even, I can't even do it with a straight face. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> he is going to lose his mind. I'm just going to write, guess what I'm working on. Okay, so it's been about four minutes and it said what, like three to five? So I'm just going to wipe it off with a baby, uh, baby wipe. It tingled a little bit. Okay, so it tingled. My, I mean, do they look bigger? So I'm going to apply this balm.
you know what? They might be a little plumper, to be honest with you. I'm serious. What do you guys think? They're still, like, tingly. They they might be plumper. I'm, to be honest, I'm kind of amazed. Now, I know, I mean, there are a lot of lip plumping products out there that work, and so I'm not that surprised that it actually might work. But at the same time, you know, some things are so gimmicky, it's like, really? I mean... Not bad. Let me wipe my little spatula off. That is cute. Made me feel like a baker, but boy, I felt ridiculous doing it on camera. If I were alone, no, I'd probably still be cracking up alone. Who am I kidding? I would have been laughing. But I like, I mean, it's, I like that there's like little holders for it. It's cute. Um, I'm going to wait a few minutes because it looks like every time I look in the mirror, they look a little bit bigger. And I don't know if I'm just like in my head or what, but Okay, so here's my verdict. I've sat here for 10 minutes and like I looked away from the mirror, did some other stuff, looked this up like the... Did Tyler respond? <laughs> he said, I, I said, guess what I'm working on with the picture of me with the first step on and he just wrote clowning because <laughs> it looks like, you know, a clown draw right outside your mouth. Oh, I'm going to marry that man. Okay, so back to business here. So I, I stepped away for about 10 minutes and I looked up the price. This is, from what I saw, I think it's like $48. But I couldn't really find a direct way to buy it and I'm not sure when it launches at Sephora. If I find that out, I will put it in the description box once I find that out. So check below if you are interested. But my verdict is, if it really is that expensive, I don't know. I mean, if you have, here's what I'll say. I think it, like, looking at my upper lip, it is a lot thicker than it usually is, like really truly. My bottom lip, I'm not sure if it is because my bottom lip is always kind of big, so it doesn't look that noticeable. My top lip, if you're really self-conscious about that and you're willing to spend the money, I think it actually does plump it. I mean, it is, it's bigger than it was. So I, that is kind of amazing to me. And I went a lot farther up, I think, on the top than I did on the bottom, and that might be why, I don't know. So if you're really self-conscious about your lip size, this probably would be a good option for you. If you already have, like, mid-size or big lips like I do, I don't think you need it. I mean, it, across the board, I don't think you need a lip plumping thing. But I was pretty amazed, and in the era of, you know, drawing outside your lips right now that a lot of people are doing, which I don't quite get, but um, I think this is a better alternative, so at least it's going to look more natural on you. But, um... I think it's interesting. Um, thanks to Kaplan MD for sending it to me. Of course, you guys know I'm not sponsored. That would mean I'd be being paid to say, you know, to review it or anything. They just sent it to me for free. I can do what I want with it. So um, hopefully you found this review helpful. And um, I mean, I'll probably use it from time to time because I think it's, um, I mean, it's a cool product and it makes me laugh and it'd be fun to, you know, on a girl's night do with some sisters or some girlfriends just to do it. It does have a nice feeling. It reminds me of the feeling I get from Buxom Lip Gloss is that minty kind of tingly feeling. And I really do think it plumped my upper lips. So I think it's pretty cool and interesting, although it is expensive. Like I said, I hope this review is helpful. Stay tuned for a lot more reviews. I do a lot more drugstore reviews than high end. So subscribe if you're interested and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye. It's one of those like, um, like, what do they call it, like the coconut infused, or I don't know. It's nice, it's okay, it is not my favorite, it's not as good as the sweet mint, so uh, this is going to be a maybe as well. This is going to be a big video of maybes until the end when I decide. This one is this pixie tinted balm, there's literally not really a tint at all to it, I mean truly. I don't know, it might like adjust once it's on your lips. Packaging is cute, which is why I want to keep it. However, I never use it.